start the business just start <laughs> hello lovely how are you Avia here transformation coach to women who are ready to level up in life take your life to the next level personally professionally financially spiritually with whichever way you're looking to get to the left to the next level you're in the right space so in today's video we'll be talking about creating a successful brand slash creating a successful business it's a question that I've been asked loads over the years I posted in on Instagram recently for people to ask me for people to suggest topics they want me to speak on and share this is what she said she said Avia how do you build a successful business and I don't know if some of you know if you well, I don't know if all of you know, but I do know that some of you know that over the last five years, I've dedicated myself to helping women to build businesses online. So it's, and I've personally been working for myself, had several businesses since 2007. So I know a thing or two about building a biz, building businesses or building a brand. I've branded myself. Building a business and building a brand are two separate entities, by the way. You could be building a brand, but you're not building a business. But if you are building a business, you need to brand that business. You see what I mean? So, and I'll, I'll explain how I came to that. When I started on the online space, I already had a business that was doing well off social media it's that business has never come on to social media it's not a social media business it's it was a brick and mortar business that was completely separate so it had nothing to do with this space but when I positioned myself online as an expert I was positioning myself Avia Grayson as a brand brand yourself I have a podcast called brand your impact so the first thing you need to be clear on when you, when you're starting a business is you have to be clear on what's the business you want to start. What's the business that you are going to make successful? Even if further down the line you pivot, you shift, you change some things, you tweak a bit, that doesn't matter. I mean, that quite often happens, but that doesn't matter. Just be clear on where you're going right now. If you're going from A to Z, you need to have a clear picture. So that was the first step. The next step is to be clear on your why. You have to be clear on your why because when the going gets tough, which it will get tough, building a business, if that's something new to you, you are going to meet challenges. You're going to have hiccups. You're going to meet roadblocks roadblocks so you have to be clear on your why because it's your why that's going to get you keep you going when you're challenged I have mentioned in other videos where I stick my why on my computer screen why on the days when I don't feel like going I keep going is because I'm clear on the why Avia if you do not show up if you don't do the thing that will fall along the way so be clear on why you're doing it you know, is it to get you out of your nine to five? Is it to add another another stream of income? Is it to retire your parents? Is it to, you know, for whatever reason, why is it important to you to build that business? The next step is to make sure you're competent. You don't have to have all your ducks lined up. You don't have to be wearing all the hats. You don't have to be perfect I'm not saying that but just make sure you're competent when somebody pay you make sure you ha you have a sense of integrity they pay me for this this is what I'm going to deliver so that's why you have to be competent in what you're promising what you're selling because as well when you're competent your confidence just goes skyrocket right if I know that I am a phenomenal coach, if I know I am a great author, great speaker, without a doubt, right, and whatever book I sell, whatever coaching program I sell my clients, that they are going to, they're going to get more than they paid me for, my confidence is going to be up there. 
and my marketing is going to be it's going to show in my marketing it's going to show in my delivery so make sure you're competent and the next step is to define your ultimate life vision which includes your personal and, and professional your personal and professional vision and also write a mission statement you know make sure you're doing those things the next step is to work out how much it's going to cost you i meet so many people who've started businesses and then the next minute they've disappeared and it's one or two reasons most of the time they don't have the money to that the business requires or they don't have the time that the business requires i you know people have paid me already right avia they come to me and they have all this you know talk i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that and then a few weeks down the line it's like okay i'm going to work nine to five i'm picking up the kids i'm I'm, you know, cooking, I'm being a wife, I'm going to um, choir practice, I'm, I've got all these things going. I didn't realize that I couldn't squeeze in anything else. So be clear on, okay, building a business takes time. I was studying full time when I started my first business. I was a wife, I was a mother, I was working full time. At the same time so I, and I'm like okay this takes time how am I gonna make that time when everybody was gone to bed I was up doing re market research putting that together putting this together and it was a physical business as well that took my time I was doing it because I blocked out certain amount of hours dedicated to that specific business that I was building even now where I am right now it's like okay I have multiple businesses I have certain days a week where I work on certain business certain times a day where I work on certain business and I don't work I have to make sure I have the capacity I have to make sure I have the time. I have to make sure that, okay, sometimes I don't have the money to do the things that I want to do inside my business, but I have the mindset and I know that it's going to happen. It's going to work out. It has, it's not like, okay, where I am, if I don't have a certain amount of money to buy a new equipment, it's going to be the be all end all. No, I have to work hard, work the business to get to that level. But I've had somebody come to me months ago that wanted to grow this business and it sounded so good like I was fired up and when I said what's your budget like I have no money I literally just robbed Peter to pay you like for your coaching service I have no money Avia and I'm like girl this what you just what we've just gone through it needs the money to take it to the next level so here's what you're going to go out there and do for yourself. You're going to go out there and you're going to increase your income so you can have get some money from the income you've generated in a nine to five so you can have that extra money to build this business that you're telling me because this thing needs money, right? You've tried it and it's taken you so far, but the next step needs money. So be clear with yourself, be honest with yourself, right? And the next step is to go out there and create the thing. If you, you've been pondering on these things for so long, you've watched everyone else on YouTube, you watch everyone else on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, do it, and you're still sat there and you haven't started. Because I guarantee you that you can start with some form of resource that you currently um, have in your possession. Go out there and do the most of what you have. Back in the days when I started online, all I needed was a smartphone. I didn't even have a tripod. I used to prop my phone up on some books and then I went to town and got a one pound tripod, little flimsy little thing for a pound. And then I stick my phone on the tripod and I did my videos 
for so long and then somewhere down the line I got really fancy and got a little clip on mic and then somewhere down the line I you know got really fancy got a lap a decent laptop somewhere down the line I got fancy got a MacBook somewhere down the line but the point is I started with what I had which was just my voice and my smartphone I had a message I put myself out there with my messy message I wasn't all the way together, I wasn't gathered. Like I say, I have the fancy equipment and so I still can't use them. I have no clue how to use this. I've had it for about seven years, I'd say now. Six, seven years, and I still am none the wiser. I could have invested that money into something else, but where I am right now, growing a YouTube, a brand new YouTube channel, I'm in a course that's going to finally teach me how to use my camera finally teach me how to edit and do all these things but I'm saying you don't have to run out there and get where you see these gurus that's been going for years you don't have to go out there and get those things that's their chapter 10 you're in your chapter 1 go back to their old videos and see where, where they were donkey years ago I promise you they didn't have all the things they started very humble have your humble beginnings have your humble beginnings right the next step is so that was for you to go out there and just create the thing create the program put yourself out there and start positioning yourself as whether as whatever an influencer a travel influencer a youtuber whatever it is life coach business coach fitness coach health coach you know, whatever it is, if you've made your own body butter, if you've made your own, um, what do you call this? Um, by the way, this is MVP. I'm wearing MVP by Fenty. <laughs> right. It is the business. If you're making your own lip gloss and you've made a batch, go out there and position yourself onto social free platforms and tell them about how, what can I say about this? This is like velvet. Tell her how velvet is soft, how kissable your lips are, right? Go out there and do the thing, create the program. The next step is to test it out, validate it. Make sure that you get some feedback. You can do, you know, do a beta round, do beta test it, and beta test doesn't have to be for free. It could be at very low cost. I remember when I was when I just started and I was putting myself out there. Um, one of my I was in a, a Facebook group. The lady was talking all things crypto. I didn't understand cryptocurrency at the time. I was in the group trying to learn. But as I was in the group, I was putting myself out there as a coach. Like, if anybody asked, I'm a coach, right? One of the things that the ladies realized that I was good at is I was good at helping them to gain clarity. I was good at uh, holding myself accountable. So one of the ladies, Jennifer, an older lady than myself, more mature lady than myself, she reached out to me and she's like, Avia, can I pay you to be my accountability partner? And at that time, I've never charged anybody to be a coach, a mentor, or anything. I'm like, you know, I branded myself. I was on social media to get in there, but I wasn't there. I was working with a coach to develop me, develop my skills as a coach, but I wasn't there. So she messaged me. I didn't even have a PayPal. I didn't have Stripe. I didn't have any um, means of even receiving a payment. I had to send her my bank details. Lesson learned after that was Avia, have a way for people to pay you. So I went out there and I created my, my business PayPal thing where people could pay me. Shortly after I did that, a friend who said, messaged me one day and goes, go to me, you know, I, I want to pay somebody. I want to pay somebody to help me. And you're the person. I'm going to pay you to help me, you know, for us to be accountability partner. There you go again. Same thing. Someone sees something in me that I didn't see in myself. But that was from me putting myself out there, growing a brand on social media, branding myself as a person who's been through some things and empowering women to 
okay, you can do it too, you can do it too. And she just messaged me the next day after she's after I sent her my PayPal thing, she messaged me the same day. The next day she goes, check your email or something like that. Or check your PayPal, I can't remember which one of them. She'd paid me 500 US dollars. After that, you better know that my package, I started to build my package up. I went to my coach and I'm like, Two people have paid me. Two people have paid me and I don't have anything ready. And she's like, okay, let's get your package ready so people can pay you. And it's been no looking back since then. The next step is if you are on social media showing up, you're trying to, you tell the world that I'm a speaker, I'm a coach, I'm a travel influence, I'm a cook, I'm an author, you're whatever. If you've been telling the world that you are that and you're not fully in, you're not fully committed, you're not consistent with it, I ask you to ask yourself these questions. Be real with yourself and ask yourself these questions. Am I being as resourceful as I can with the resources that I currently have? because nobody's stopping you from showing up every single day on these platforms that allow us to show up for free. No one's stopping you. So be real with yourself. Are you fully maximizing all the resources that's available to you? The next question is to ask yourself, what are you doing today, right now, when it comes to you building that brand, building that business? What are you doing? Be honest with yourself. This is, a con this is a question that I ask myself, and the next question that I'm going to mention, I ask myself those two questions, these three questions, but in particular the two last questions, right? The next one is, what is it I know I'm supposed to be doing, but I am not doing? I was so mad with myself when I asked myself this question a few days ago. Avia, you know you're supposed to be doing X, Y, Z. You've delayed it and it's not for a valid reason, lady. Go out there and get it done. I have to have those talks with myself. Have those conversations with yourself. And if you need help, reach out to me. I'm here. I will pop my a complimentary, I'll pop my, my calendar in the, my schedule in the description where you can reach out to me. And I'll gift you a complimentary 30 minute session with myself where I help you to gain. It's not a coaching. I'm not going to coach you. Let's just discover some clarity. Let's just discover, okay, what's your next best move? Right? Thank you so much for joining me in, on this video today. Please do like, and if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And I'll post another couple of videos around here that will help you in your level up journey. Thank you so much. I'll see you again soon. Bye. Mm.